Hello, my name is Deidre McGee. I'm a physiotherapist and I'm an associate professor at the University of Hong Kong. I've been researching the physical problems women have after breast cancer surgery and I'd like to raise awareness of this and to give women hope that their physical recovery can be improved. So if you are a woman who's had breast cancer surgery and you're suffering from pain or movement restriction or muscle weakness in your shoulder, in your upper torso, in the region of your scars or your donor site if you've had a tissue-based reconstruction or if you're just having difficulty getting into a comfortable position to sleep or you have difficulty finding a comfortable bra to wear and exercise in or if you have lymphedema with all the problems that lymphedema creates. I want you to know that you're not alone. I've surveyed over 700 women across Australia and a high percentage of women are suffering from these problems, not to just a mild extent, a little bit at the time, but to a moderate, severe extent, a lot of the time, six, 12 and 24 months after surgery. More importantly, these physical side effects are affecting the women's ability to sleep, to wear a bra, to exercise, to resume their sport, to do daily tasks and to do their paid em employment. So I'd like to raise awareness that women are having a physical problem and that we need to do something to help them. Women have consistently and repeatedly said to me that they need more awareness that they were not informed that they would have these physical side effects and therefore they were unprepared for them. And also that they need more follow-up, that women needed more help from health professionals to manage these side effects because they don't know how to manage them and therefore they find them more debilitating and distressing. So overall my research has found that there's physical rehabilitation is a gap in the care we provide for women after breast cancer surgery. A high percentage of women reported, for example, they got no information about how to get into a safe and comfortable sleeping position after their surgery, even though a high percentage of women complain of physical discomfort that's disturbing their sleep. Now, good sleep is really important for tissue healing and for mental and physical health. For example, it increases fatigue, and we know that fatigue is is a barrier to women being physically active and we know physical activity is really important to decrease the risk of cancer reoccurring. A high percentage of women also reported that they got no information about what to look for in a comfortable bra, yet two in three women at six and 24 months after their surgery reported problems finding a comfortable bra to the point that some women couldn't even wear a bra. And breast support's really important because we know it's been ranked the third highest barrier for women after breast cancer surgery for them being physically active. Also really concerning was that there was a high percentage of women who'd had an immediate breast reconstruction, so a breast reconstruction at the same time as their mastectomy, who had no assessment or education about lymphedema. So they didn't know what to look for to allow for early detection. And we know that early detection is the only way we can get on top of lymphedema. Overall, my research has found that there's an urgent need for us to improve the physical rehabilitation of women after breast cancer surgery so that we can limit the impact and the progression of these symptoms and we can enable women to be physically active and live well after breast cancer rather than just survive it. So my main messages for women in Breast Cancer Awareness Month are, number one, there is hope for you if you are suffering from physical side effects, they can be helped. A skilled physiotherapist who has expertise in treating women with breast cancer can help you with a lot of your symptoms and can improve your physical function and recovery, but you need to ask for help. My research has identified there seems to be a miscommunication between doctors and patients. Doctors haven't specifically asked women about physical side effects because they're focused on surgical wounds after surgery or cancer, in, in managing women's cancer. So they haven't specifically asked. 
and then women haven't told their doctors about their physical side effects because they thought if it was important, the doctors would ask them. So the first step to improve your physical recovery is for you to communicate to your doctor or your breast care nurse about your physical side effects so they can refer you on to a physiotherapist or a health professional to help you with them. If you've had a breast reconstruction or you're planning on having a breast reconstruction, I have made an educational resource to help you recover from that called Physical Preparation and Recovery from Breast Reconstruction Surgery. This was made in conjunction with Breast Cancer Network Australia, a team of clinical experts and women who'd had breast reconstruction surgery. And it aims to help women prepare and recover from it. It is part one of part of five parts and I'm currently seeking funding to make the other four parts, which will take a woman from post-op to return to sport and full physical function. Lastly, if you are a medical professional treating a woman with breast cancer, or you are someone supporting a woman going through breast cancer, ask her about her physical symptoms. Are you having difficulty sleeping? Are you having difficulty finding a comfortable bra? Do you need, do you have restrictions in your daily activities? And if they are, encourage and support them to seek help. I am passionate about improving the physical recovery of women after breast reconstruction surgery and breast cancer surgery and I will continue my research and translate it into resources to help women live well with breast cancer.